my name is Shankibia Mitchell. I am a member of St. John the Wonder Worker. Hello, my name is Shaza Shazarabi, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Arita Domrose. I'm a parishioner at St. Mary of Egypt Orthodox Church, Kansas City, Missouri. My name is Monica Henderson. I am from Kansas City, Missouri. I've been an Orthodox Christian for a couple of years now, a little bit over two years. I'm preparing this reflection on the day that marks my 10th year as an Orthodox Christian. I was baptized in Orthodox Christian in 2018. Well, I grew up um, United Methodist, which was more like a non-denominational. I was raised in the Baptist tradition. I grew up in the Baptist church. I was Pentecostal, apostolic, non-denomination, charismatic, that whole circle. My parents made sure that I attended church regularly. One of my earliest visits to the church was at just a few months of age. The service included the dedication of infants and parents to God. I'm thankful that, you know, everything I've gone through, experiences and everything has led me to uh, the Orthodox Church. The pivotal moment that started my journey to Orthodoxy was my introduction to Anglicanism. And shortly after that, I knew that it wasn't going to be long before we became Orthodox. As far as a pivotal moment that brought me into Orthodoxy, I can think of the time in my previous church where I was a co-facilitator for a Bible study or a small group is what we called them. Part of me just wanted to know and feel confident that what I was telling them was something that was backed by some sort of or authoritative source. I found myself on YouTube looking at different debates and I found my way onto um, different videos with Orthodox speakers. And a lot of their points just made a lot of sense to me. So I worked at a nonprofit where my church was located on the third and fourth floor. So I got in several invitations to go to church and I did not take it up at first. And um, the third time I went, I felt like I just took a really big bite <laughs> and I haven't been away since. So it was transformative for me. Around 1994, things began to change. My husband and I were living in Ann Arbor. He being an avid reader at the time, asked God, how do you want to be worshiped? Immediately, he found this book, The Roots of Christian Mysticism. That day, I would mark as the conscious beginning of my journey towards the Orthodox Church. Together, we began attending services, meeting with priests, and studying about the faith. By 2005, I'm back in my hometown, Seattle, where I reunited with the church where I was baptized. During a trip back to Detroit in 2006, I attended the Ancient Christianity and African America Conference. It was an unforgettable experience. By 2011, my husband and I were attending services at St. Spiridon and taking our third catechesis. By this time, the Orthodox Church had become very compelling to me. Through God's grace, it became clear that this is where I should be. We were chrismated on August 14th of that year. So that is why when asked, I tell people it took me 18 years to become Orthodox. What I would say for um, something helpful for someone considering Orthodoxy or already, or that is already on the journey to Orthodoxy is to stay prayerful and stay open. Ultimately like prayer and having an open mind as far as um, you know, listening to where God is leading. You'll never know everything and you'll never be perfect. And both of those things are okay. So having um, a mindset of grace and leaning into what God is saying. One helpful thing is to read books slowly, praying with icons, the unbroken circle, unseen warfare, the struggle for virtue. You know, read the fathers, read the scriptures, and uh, accept that you will never 
be a perfect Orthodox Christian.